Welcome back to building a WordPress theme with Tailwind and underscores. Today we are going to start styling the header as well as build our first custom component. Alright, let's get started on our header. So if you'll notice here we have a link at the very top of our theme. It says skip to content. This is for a screen reader. Um, it's showing up now because we got rid of all the default underscores uh, CSS. So we're going to go ahead and just hide that for now and we'll uh, deal with that when we come back to the mobile navigation. Inside of our theme folder we have uh, header PHP. This is where all of our header code is at. Let's go ahead and just comment out that line right there. Let's refresh our page and that's hidden for now. We'll deal with that later. Now I went ahead and added a few pages here. Uh, they're just blank pages, there's no content. I uh, just wanted to add them so we have more to work with in our header. So let's begin. We're going to style this in the browser using the utility classes given to us by Tailwind. So we have our main header tag here that contains the title, the description, and the navigation. Let's go into the class here. Site header was used by underscores, but we don't need it because we cleared all that out. Um, Let's see, how should we do this? Uh, let's add a little bit of uh, padding. Do a little padding on the top and bottom, so padding Y and 4. And on the left and right, so padding X. Let's do 2 and see how that looks. Alright, that's given us a little bit of padding. Let's, uh, let's make this a slightly different color. So we can do a uh, BG gray, maybe lighter, with a shadow. All right, it's differentiated a little bit from the main body. Maybe we'll make this uh, lightest. There we go, I like that. And let's add a little bit of margin on the bottom. There we go. All right, header is separated from the body pretty nicely now. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna separate the title and description, put them on the left side, and the menu over on the right. So what I'm going to do to do to handle that is I'm going to use Flexbox. If you're not familiar with Flexbox, I'll leave a link in the description uh, from CSS Tricks on uh, Flexbox. There's a really nice Flexbox cheat sheet. All we need to do to set up the Flexbox for this main element is just type flex. And now they're side by side. Now we have two elements. We have the site branding, which contains the title and the description. And then we have the nav. So we want space to be between these guys. So what we can do here is we can use another flexbox attribute to say justify between. And there we go. No matter how big the screen is, they'll be separated. Next thing I want to do is I want to center them vertically. So another nice flexbox attribute will be items center. Perfect. Now this is currently not saved to our, our code, so uh, if I refresh the page, we're going to lose all the work we've done. Let's go ahead and copy this uh, class, all these classes that we've built onto the header. Let's go into PHP Storm and go ahead and paste it right in there. So if I go back to the browser and refresh, we're all set. Alright, let's add a little pop of color to the top of this header. Uh, this is something I've been noticing lately on some sites and I uh, really like it. So what we'll do is we'll just do a border on the top only with a size of 4. That looks alright. Let's um, make it a teal color. How about that? There we go. Now you can see how easy it is to just play with these classes and, and try out different colors. And try pink yellow, um, you know, it's pretty easy to just play with them right here in the HTML. I'm going to stick with, uh, with the teal for, for today. Let's clean up this, this link over here on our header. Inside site branding we have the site title and a hyperlink. Uh, first on the site title, let's add a margin bottom of 2. Alright, that looks better. And also, let's make sure we uh, we save these back to our file since we, we like what we've got. So we have that. And then the site title is going to be 
margin bottom of two. Now here's something to notice with underscores. Uh, they have a different size of the site title depending if you're on the front page or not. So if we go in here, let's refresh, make sure everything looks good. If I go to this post, it's much smaller. It's using a paragraph tag instead of an H1. Uh, I want to just always use the H1 tag, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this if statement, get rid of the else, the paragraph, the end if, and then uh, open up PHP again. All right, there we go. So now, no matter what page we're on, this will be the larger size. All right, so these hyperlinks are looking pretty bad and uh, we're gonna wanna change up the entire site. But for starters, let's just play with the styling of the first one here and then we can make a custom component out of it. So we have the hyperlink. Um, let's go into our class. Uh, let's do a text a gray darker. All right, that looks nice. Um, maybe let's get rid of the uh, underline here. That looks better. Now, we want to make sure they know it's a link. So when we hover, let's do a uh, teal text. OK. Now when we hover it, it's got the nice accent of the teal. I like that. Now let's put that on all of our hyperlinks so they all look the same. So let's take these three classes, and we want to make a custom component so that all of our hyperlinks use these classes. So let's go into our style.scss file. We have our spot here for our custom components. So let's make one for all anchor tags. Now Tailwind ships with an at apply directive, and this is really cool. We can uh, take these classes and apply them to the hyperlinks. The hover, however, this will not actually work. So what we'll want to do is we'll pull that out, do an A hover, apply and we just want the text teal class there. Now because this is SAS, we can actually uh, make this a little bit shorter. So instead of this, let's put this inside the anchor tag and just change this to an AND. So here's our normal styles and when we hover it, we're going to apply the text teal. Now you want to make sure your gulp is running. So we have our style built. Let's go back to the browser. Ah, it's much better. All right, so the last thing we need to do is get this menu to look right for our desktop. Uh, for now, I'm gonna just hide this menu button that uh, is shipped with underscores. So we'll go back to PHP Storm and our header file. And right here, we just have this button. We'll just hide that for now, and we'll deal with that next episode. All right, so the last thing we want to do is style our menu over here on the right side. Um, first thing I want to do is get rid of these bullet points. So let's look in here. Uh, the menu is made up of a UL with a bunch of LI elements. So on the UL, we want to add a class of list reset. Our bullet points are gone. Um, we can also turn this into flexbox. So now they're all in line. That looks good. And last thing I think we should do here is touch on the sizing and the spacing. So for each li, um, start with the one on the far right. Let's add a margin left of maybe four. I think that's a good space right there. And then let's just edit it and add text large. I like that sizing quite a bit. All right, so now let's do this in code. Now if you take a look at the header PHP file, you'll notice that the menu is actually being created by this WP nav menu instead of actual ULs and LIs. This will generate all that, so we'll need to target those elements. All right, so let's take another quick look at the menu that underscores gives us. We have a div here with a class of menu, a UL, and some LIs. So let's go into our CSS here, and we will type menu ul. We want to apply the list reset as well as the flex utilities. 
All right, looks a lot better. Now for the LIs inside of this UL, we just want to apply the padding left of four and a text large. Let's take a look at that. There we go. That is all for this episode. Next episode we will cover the mobile navigation. I hope this showed how quickly and easily it is to design in the browser using the Tailwind utilities. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe.